Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the newbie tutorial series for version 2.7.2 .2 of the game. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 11. It's the year 2318 in the No Mod Empire. We're playing this playthrough with no mods, but with some DLC. This is what it looks like. We have this little corner of the galaxy down here as well now, thanks to the wormhole. And we're getting ready to go to war with these bozos up here, the Synthoid matrix we're prepping for that the synthoid matrix is down here we can see that their fleet power is equivalent we're trying to get our fleet power ahead of theirs and now there's following along the Obadan commerce league is becoming more xenophilic so yay for them the galactic council emergency measure attained all right let's see senate floor comfort the fallen Unemployed workers have their unhappiness penalty reduced by 10. Diplomatic weight from tech. So we can either uh, support this or not. What I like to do is go check and see tech. We're leading. Our tech level is 19. So there's 18 is the best one we've seen since then is 18. We're clearly the strongest in tech. So we're going to reject that notion. And it's us. We're already over here. Um, and I don't think spiritualist ethics attraction plus 10%. No, 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 no. Um, now we could probably call in some favors, maybe, to crunch this. We might just want to keep a favor on this. I mean, keep an eye on this. What would happen if we did this? Senate vote plus 544 that would not be enough to make a difference we'd have to call in some more favors or we'd have to get some more favors so that's a possibility research concluded if we don't want that to happen gateway travel is now unlocked that is a big deal um we still have a physics a particles person up here so i would like to do zero point reactor and unlock that I'm very, hmm, yeah, comfort the fallen emergency measure. I, I would almost like to try and go do enough to make sure that, uh, like if we do make a trade deal with these folks and give them some resources. The secondary resources, the refinery resources are usually pretty good for doing this sort of thing, getting some getting some favors in here or at least they were early like this is not gonna be I'd have to give him a lot if you hold shift click down you can give him a whole lot I'm not sure I want to give him that much that seems like overkill doesn't it a thousand it'd still be a lot how many favors could I get from him for that oh I could get a lot of favors <laughs> that's too many okay let's do this At 400, I can get 10 favors from him. I'll confirm that. All right, let's see. Who else do we have down there? The Thet Clack. The Thet Clack. If I give them some of those exotic gases too, now we can see we have 2.1k gases. So if we do favors, he'll accept that. So that buys us some favors. I'm not sure we want to use them all here. Oh, and then these guys are really strong. The Tzatzikians offer a trade deal. What I got? I could offer some gases and some moats. How many favors would I need? What would it take me to get 10 favors? Gases. And moats, maybe. I don't want to give him monthly moats. I just want to give him a one-time payment. Okay, so we do that with those people who are kind of on the fence. And we could call in some favors. We could call in a lot of favors, actually. We could say, hmm. These guys, their favors are worth a lot. Oh, and now we have people just coming over to our side. They're like, hey. this It's possible we may, we may get this over time without, without any need for doing anything else. So, we'll see. Okay, we're going to pause the game and do some of this. Upgrade building. This is a consumer goods. Civilian industries. Civilian industries. It's different than consumer goods. Consumer commercial zones are here. It's the same thing, I guess. Um, 
they're not, these are not the same thing. Commercial zones are different from consumer goods, but I always call them consumer goods, and they're actually called what? They're called civilian industries. Oh, no, they make consumer goods. That's what I'm saying. Minerals to consumer goods. You can see on the description. But they're called civilian industries. Okay. I always get those things confused. That's just me. Um, our EQ Monopolis is rolling right along. And how many jobs are available? Metallurgist jobs. Are, are all the metallurgist jobs taken? They are. It's awesome. And because uh, if we want to, we can say focus on those jobs there's a bunch of clerk jobs here that's going to result in some serious trade eventually when it gets filled it's up in this area and you're going to see trade blow up there uh, trappist is bureaucracy world and i want to save one slot here for the galactic galactic market you can put one on every planet can also put clone vats on here for a while. I might do that. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's put some clone. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put clone vats on here. I have to start thinking about. Where are they at? Right there. I have to start thinking about getting some more naval capacity down, which means these strongholds. And that means let's look and see what we actually have here. Oh, this needs more jobs. There's some unemployed pops there. I'm just going to get all of those ready. On this agro world, it's saying, hey, I need more jobs. And I'm like, hmm, well, okay. And then on this world, more jobs. This It, it won't hire these specialists, though. That's the thing you got to understand. It won't hire that specialist, but I'm not concerned about that. They'll get there eventually. This has three people, and we could take two of them and move them somewhere else. So I might move Research them to the EQ completed. Monopolis. Yep. Oh no, what is this? Greetings from New Baldurac. Those people we changed the gas giant thing way earlier in the game. Things are progressing well here at our new colony. However, we have a small request. Chabby Rod, one of our colonists, misses her family and friends on Baldurac terribly and wants to go home. Her whining is driving us crazy. It's not too much ass. Do you think you can't come back? What? Oh, all right, fine. Bring Chabki home. Okay. <clears throat> what do we need to do to bring Chabki home? It says we need a science ship. Track it. Go to it. It's right there. So if I take this person, research it with that science, that'll get that a done. Declaration of war has been Somebody's announced. gonna announce war, and this is gonna be Lorongo Shipping Alliance has declared war on the synthetic matrix, the synthoid matrix, which is the people we want to go to war with. So if they're gonna go to war with them, it's it bodes well for us, um, really well for us, in fact, because I have a person with an expertise in propulsion. I'm gonna grab advanced railgun. Uh, we have enough alloys to start making battleships, and I do want to get them, but this is going to cost half the amount of research time and get us some upgraded guns, so I'm going to do that. Trappist 4. You have people, and what we can do with you is we could upgrade one of these. I'm not keen on doing that deal. What do you have? You an unemployed fast robot? Oh, I suppose I'll give you a city district to give you a clerk. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting. We want to keep an eye on this now. Their fleet power is equivalent. How are our fleets looking? Uh, third fleet. Okay, so here we have we have three. So in the process of reinforcing our fleet, we ended up with some extra ships, and it's now called the third fleet. Um, sometimes when you reinforce this in the game, the game doesn't do a very good job with the math of reinforcement and you will get extra ships it's just kind of something you got to deal with so what the smart thing to do here is go into this third fleet and say okay fine if you're going to do this we're going to add a bunch of corvettes to this we're going to make it a legit fleet and we'll add like 30 corvettes and then we'll add some picket class cruisers they've got a lot of missiles is what we noticed that they were using so we'll do that. 
Our relic activation is available, so we're gonna use it and we'll put them on EQ Monopolis. That generates three pops for us. That's a relic we got early in the game. And those people left, the synth silicon, the synthoids, whatever their names were, they took off, so good for them. Yeah, so I can resettle two of you people to the EQ Monopolis, and I can leave. Let's see, I'm going to send you. You're unemployed. I could send a minor robot, or I could just send a no mod, and that automatically means that minor robot is going to take that job, so that's fine. I'll do that. EQ Monopolis says, I, I think the thing to do here, it's going to build chemical plants, and then let's build another. Each one of these requires two moats, so I'm always up here checking my moats, and I'm at plus six for the month, so I'm going to build another one of those. I need more naval capacity and to do that I, I really need concluded. oh here we go so council election imminent and we are we are the top dogs now so we're gonna Genetic make it for sure project concluded. and let's see what's going on here at the Senate floor 862 days on this thing and the opponents right now because of our diplomatic weight are outweighing everybody else so that's good we might not need any help with that. This has a couple. Special project concluded. A single cargo tug hauling a gas canister has arrived at Baldurac under escort from the IS, one of our ships. The contents of the canister has been released into the gas giant's atmosphere, safely returned into Dathnet colonists to her home. Good riddance. Yes. Construction project concluded. I'm, I'm of a mind to agree with that. Good riddance. Okay, now you can go back to doing research on that planet. And the Federation Association officer was given offer was given to the Glossed Rohini. Forest research. We have learned a great deal by living in proximity of the wandering forests of Damia 3. Some enterprising colonists have even built homes in the treetops of some of the larger specimens, following the forests around as they migrate across the moon. Some of the foremost biologists in the nomad hegemony have spent time studying these unique trees. And we get society research from Oh, that's awesome. I like that. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, this is a research planet. And on this research planet, it doesn't have clone rats, so we're going to build that. I want to keep a close eye on these fools down here. Leviathan defeated. Okay, so they vanquished a Leviathan. I thought I didn't turn Leviathans on before. I thought I didn't turn that DLC on before we started the game, but maybe I'm mistaken. So I want to keep an eye on those guys. I think I think the smartest thing to do is while they're at war Another and these day. guys and these guys have an equivalent fleet power to us. I think the smartest thing to do might be to go after them real quick here. Um, plasma thruster, ripper auto cannon. Let's grab that. I'm going to check out some of our designs real quickly. This is that's the amoeba one. I'm not worried about that. Why is that What's going on here? Ship design does not have enough power. Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, we can fix that. What is what's the power on these things? The power cost is 17. Well, there's a there's a quick way to do this. You can either switch a different weapon and the power cost on this is 13. Or you could do this. Change one piece of this. You can see. So that's I'm gonna do that. The default ship has enough power, and that's great. Um, what I wanted to look at is this, the small ones. So the small advanced railgun does 11 to 35 damage, plus 58% against shield, and it has an average damage of basically 5 per day. Down here is the auto cannon, which can only be put in a small slot. It does not quite 5 damage per day, but it does an additional 25% to damage to hulls, um, which is really good. So I like to do that with those and then if we go down to let's see those are fine those are large so there's nothing you can you get a you get a better large rail again later on that can only go in the large slot so that's that's coming <coughs> but down here in this uh, there's a kinetic one that's small right there I like to change this one rail please 
rail guns, so I like to do that. Save that, overwrite that design. But what I really want to do is go up here and see how strong it's 5k is all this um, system is. Ours is 11k, which is really nice. We have defenses. We can say upgrade our platforms, please. We can go up here and we can say upgrade these ships and upgrade these ships. Because we have enough alloys to do all of that. Um... I want to build a third fleet because I'm going to lose some ships. The problem with having it going way over this naval capacity is things get very expensive really quick. You can see the maintenance cost right now is plus 32%. Now we have, we're handling it because we have money, but uh, we could just as easily not have money. So we're done with supremacy. So we can choose one of these things up here. Domination offers governor level cap plus two capital buildings and housing buildings. Provide plus one housing each, which is kind of huge. Um, I like that one a lot. City districts down here provide an additional housing as well. So there's way, two more ways to get additional housing. And city districts provide an additional clerk job, which is why I'm going to go with this prosperity. All right. Uh, this world. Okay. Uh, oh, and we enhancement supplied. we have habitats now and disabled gateway. It cost alloys and money to upgrade these gateways. And then once you do them, you have access to everywhere else. Um, I'm not keen on upgrading that right this second. But what I would like to do is find my constructor ship. What is he doing? He's over here. All right, what I want him to do is start building habitats. And particularly in Nomad, can you build me a megastructure? A habitat costs 150 influence, 1,500 alloys. Okay, so I want you to build. And then here's the other thing. Before you go building them in, before you go building a habitat, habitats by default have a couple of districts on them. My apologies, I was rudely interrupted by a sneeze. Habitats, I was saying, have a couple of default districts on them. But if you put them over a certain kind of eligible star base, they can also get other things. For instance, this one here should be able to get some research on it. Not that we would use those. I use, most, I use my habitat, me personally, I use my habitats for refineries and fortresses for fleet power. But... The research is a nice bonus. So we're going to do it here because I want to make sure that that works. I want to show you that that works. And then we'll see how that does. This fleet right here is going to get its home base in Elinithor. Right there. I like to set those. Uh, how long would it take to upgrade it? it? Reinforcing the fleet would cost us almost all of our alloys. Well, probably more. It, I'm hesitant to do it because of the penalty we're going to take on money, but I really want to go to war with these guys because I want to get this space. So, Construction project their fleet power is equivalent. Um, I'm going to take the two big fleets and I'm going to move them here. And we're going to get ready to do this. Because I think it's important that we start doing it. Fleet enhancement supplied. This has an Autochthon Monument, which is good. Has everything it needs. We could put another Fleet stronghold on it, but I'd rather... These civilian industry planets, I like to stick doing the thing that they're good at doing. <clears throat> Fleet enhancement supplied. Ecumenopolis. Why don't you do this first? What do we have? Plus five on rare crystals, so we can afford Sweet to raise this one supply. up from two jobs to five. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to war. And, and these are for all the defensive platforms. Uh, before we go to war, you know, you always want to check your edicts and see what you can do here. Uh, to capacity subsidies is keeping us out of... Uh, here, fleet supremacy gives you ship starting experience, ship build speed, and diplomatic weight from fleet power. I don't care so much about that, and it also dings you on ship upkeep, so I'm not concerned about that. Starbase upgrade speed, empire sprawl from systems, I'm, I don't care so much about that either. 
And these are all the ones with the hammers that count against your edict capacity. But before you go to war, the thing you really want to do is come in down here and turn these on. Focusing crystals. These add energy weapon damage. Yes, please. Crystalline sensors gives you a sensor range of plus one. Volatile reactive armor give you armor points. Volatile explosives, that's your missiles that do more damage. Volatile am ammunition for your kinetic weapon damage. And then shield boost for shield hit points. Gas is for fuel, sublight speed. So you do all those, turn all those on. They, re they consume these resources up here. Your secondary refinery resources. But they are quite helpful. So you do that, and you go in here and you say, declare war. Now... And threat containment. Since they are determined exterminators, we don't have to do war with them in any of the more elaborate, convoluted ways of doing a war in Stellaris. We don't have to declare. We don't have to make claims and do a claims war with them with a claims Cassius spell. We don't have to try to subjugate them and then later uh, take those vassals and integrate them in their empire. They are determined ex exterminators. We can declare war with them anytime we want to. And whatever we capture from them, we will automatically keep. Now, we can also invite attackers. So we're going to do this. The Glost Warhini Star League. Done. And we're going to end the threat containment. And we're going to declare war. Flesh is weak. Metal is eternal. So we do that. And they're like... The vote for the declaration against the... Okay, so the vote between the two of us failed. So even though we could invite those people, they decided to chicken out. So we're just going to go it alone. We're just going to go alone. We're not going to invite any attackers. We're going to end threat for containment and declare war. Yeah. And so now it's on like Donkey Kong. So we're going to take these two, move them in there. And, un and unpause the game so we're not a big dummy and all I really care about is getting this space here because then we're blocked off uh, I'm fine with going up here and grabbing as much of this can while we still have power while we still have the strength to do so but my immediate concern is getting all of this now here is you can see there's protus and how many armies do they have we can't see that yet all these systems that are just plain that just have a star here there's nothing in there but outpost. Here, when you see this symbol, you know that there's actually a building there. You know, I mean, you know there's a planet here. So we can see they have a planet up, planet up here. And they have a bunch of planets up here. These are the core systems where they started at. In order to invade planets, we need people. We need troops. And troops cost minerals to make. So what we're going to do is go into this system. And we're going to say, armies. We're going to recruit. You can see they each cost 100 minerals, and it's plus from the Guardian's Angel Act, plus 5%. So they do a certain amount of damage, and they cost a certain amount of minerals to recruit. So so I'm going to do 20 of those, and I'm going to split it evenly between these different factions. That gives me some of those. Now I'm going to go up here and do the same thing here. I'm going to recruit these. So that's another 20. Remember, it's going to take... So 20, 20, 60. I'm going to recruit 60 energy credits worth of armies at my various systems here. Okay, it can only species can only support nine assault armies in your empire, so that's fine. I grabbed from the other ones. They're going to create those army, and then we're and, and the reason why I split them out on three different planets is because uh, to cut the time down that it takes to make a big army. Um, instead of asking one planet to do it, all three of them will work in concert in parallel, and I'll get a a big group of people sooner. So that's great. My ship is up here. There's also a planet here. So we can see this. This is Negabit. There's only 56, a number 56, and I don't know what this is, troops, garrison, whatever, but this is a 56. If we get a, a number of people, we can go up there and we can invade that. So, And that's why this system doesn't become, become ours yet, even though we conquered its outpost, because we need to conquer the planet too. So we'll conquer the planet. In the meantime, what we'll do is I'll take this one group and I'll do this with them. 
and they'll go off and the the one will stay here and the other one's going to go and it's going to conquer these systems research concluded all right two researches at the same time so up here in physics we can grab gamma lasers or one of these things here gamma lasers are really expensive as you can see and things that are cheap shields we'll grab those Elegate inside I don't care about. I'd like to start getting the battleship. Planetary build speed refers to how fast a colony is built. We have it's not as important right now. Mineral purification hubs are the are the bonus. So it goes from 15% to 25 as you can see there because it adds a minor job. I'm not so concerned about those. Um but I think I need to get these out of the way because I want to get the Ministry of Production. So in order to unlock these, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get these out of the way. I want the Ministry of Production on my planets. So this guy down here is doing this. He's conquering this. And see, he gets that. Now it's our space because they're determined exterminators. We don't have to claim. We don't have to go through any kind of complicated claims process or anything like that. If you're wondering about all the different ways there are to do war in Stellaris, or at least the major ways, go see my war tutorial, as I specified in the very first episode of the series. Just go watch it. Save yourself a lot of trouble. All right, so over here, this is research, but it's also mostly um, these things. Moat harvesting traps. So let's get the other moat harvesting trap down here. Because this planet has these special things to support it. And now I have some of these fleets. These are 52, 52, 52. If I wanted to consolidate these guys, I could capture this planet right now. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to send these over here. I got enough guys to capture that one planet right this second. So I want to go do that. All right, so we get the, all these guys over here, and you hit this button up here, merge, and it'll merge them into a group of about 200 guys, 200 troops, close, 180. Okay, then we're going to give them a leader. You can go recruit a general like you recruit scientists or anybody else. Army morale and army damage. I always like that one. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to send these guys over here, and I'm going to tell them land armies right there, and they're going to go do it. And once they're done... These guys are going to keep conquering things. I'm going to send these guys over here to conquer this. And we're going to get all this space in here. Meanwhile, the other plan these planets are continuing to crank out armies for us. Because we asked them to crank out about Research 20 included. armies apiece. The Senate vote has failed and the resolution come for the Fallen. Oh, darn it. Okay, I needed to be paying attention to that because uh, I wanted to get that to pass and I would have used favors to do it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Darn it. Okay. See, here is claim influence cost for wars. And war. we don't necessarily need the claims because we're not doing the claims war here. But we might have to do claims war with someone else. And then war exhaustion minus 10%. I'm going to grab that. Dang it. So, uh, all right. Senate's in recess. Yes, I want to extend my contract with you guys. So, resolutions. Darn it. So, where is it? The greater good. Five-year plans. Charter of active life. Five-year plans is proposed. Okay, that's the one I'm worried about. Five five-year plans. When this when this gets to where we need it to be. We need it. We've successfully invaded that planet. So that's great. So now see we got that zone there. And we have 189 guys, so we didn't lose anybody. Over here and protests they have 56 guys so we can come take that shields subspit black hole observatory Ooh, I always like getting that I'm gonna grab that you guys are up there so come over here and you guys are there and I'm gonna have you do this and then circle back to there I'm going to have you guys move over here. And we're going to... And then this is the Obedin Sacrosanct Assembly. And they're friendly to us. So their borders are open right now. So we can go through there and we can get like this wheel over here too. We can go through and we can start going through here and crushing these guys. Uh, look at them. Take a look at them. Their fleet power is equivalent. These guys are now 
inferior totally, but their fleet power is still equivalent. So, and it probably will be until we actually run into them and then Admiral gained a trait. Kinetic battery. This is the really nice one. Big, huge gun. Very, very nice. I want that. I want to put that on my battleships and such. Very, very nice. So this, we took this planet over here. Negabit. Now, here's something I like to do. Uh, I like to make sure that my planets and my systems names match. Zimpok is a cool name, but so is Negabit. <laughs> I'm going to change the name of this, though. If it'll let me do it. And I'm going to change it to Zimpok. Because I like them to match. It makes it easier to find. So here's this planet. They did these things. There's no sector to it. Um, I want to take a look at that right now. The sectors. Because, yeah, this is this is sector coming in from here. Um, because of my capital over here. No mod. Hmm, do I want to try to move the capital sector around? Not really. So what I'm just going to do is this. I'm going to create a sector. That way I can have a governor. We can recruit somebody. Uh, I don't know who. Probably recruit a crime person right now. So here's the other thing. Population. These guys are determined exterminators. So anybody on their planet who's... As a determined exterminator, we're going to automatically start purging them. Um, and so they're going to be declining species, and, and we're going to start growing our own species on there. So all these people who are, are already on here are going to go away because they're all robots. Uh, and that's why it's smart to put a righteous crime fighter on this planet right off the bat, too. What I want to do then is change some of this. Um, I'm going to build precinct houses, which also help with crime. And I'm going to build commercial zones, which will help with trade, which will provide clerks, which provide amenities, which make this number go up, which will make people happier. And then uh, I think what I'd like to do, yeah, generator world is probably the best thing to do right now. So we'll do that. So there we go got to be aware of who you're taking over and what it's what it's uh, going to do to your empire. Damia. This needs an Atakthon monument. And then it needs some more food people. I'm just going to get all the food ones ready. Unemployed personality here. See, we can start raising this up now, but it costs... Uh, an extra moat to do so. We have plenty of moats. I'll deal with my population here in a little bit. I want to see how this is going. Land armies, my friends. Go over there and do it. Research concluded. Oh, there's some gases over there. That's nice. Gene Warrior Army gives you a nice army. You can see they do considerably more damage than my army does, but their base upkeep cost is three instead of one. So that's a consideration when you're doing that. Here's naval capacity, which we very much need to push us over the edge here, which would be very nice. So, So we're grabbing space from our enemies here, which is what we love to do. The Nobound Empire, we're not putting anything down here. We're saving these buildings. However, these are crystals, and how many do we have? Five crystals? I'm going to upgrade that one so people can be employed. Planetary. That's great. This one. Planetary incursion initiative successful. successful. So let's go and we get that space. So we can go check here. This is Protus. I really like the name of that. So I'm gonna change this. Protus the system. And we're gonna go here and check out this out. So it's in the Zimpok sector. It gets the crime fighter person. I'm gonna take this research and replace it with precinct houses. Give me some law, some crime fighters. We're gonna make it a mining world. Because it has an abundance of minerals. 
So that's the thing I want to focus on. Where is it at? Refinery world, forge world, generator world, agro world, mining world. Alright. And then I'm going to take these and replace them with mines. And then we'll just add a few more mining districts. So that's done. And now, um, the other thing is... You can come up here and grab this gas. So now you folk can... Where can you repair? Okay, hold on. No, no. Stay there. Stay there. What we're going to do is upgrade this star base. And then you guys can repair yourself there. And then we will worm our way over into here. I'd like to get this loop over here as well, if we can. That'd be great. I feel like. Excuse me. Yeah, so I don't want to build anything there because we still have four jobs, four unemployed people. I mean, four jobs available, not unemployed people. Food, oh yeah, forest fire, so food from jobs. So worry about that. Over here, though, we do have unemployed people. And if we want to raise this up, it costs a moat. And that'll only provide one more job, so I need three more jobs. So I'm going to use a crystal to raise that from two to four to two to five, which should put everybody else there at work. Research concluded. Black Hole Observatory. Awesome. Okay. What's cheap? Calling to development speed or the energy nexus, which is the upgrade for technicians. So we'll get that. Down here, there's one person here who's unemployed on our relic world. And that means we can just go over here. And city district them. Actually build a couple of those. And then, do they have... Yeah, they don't have anything we can get rid of there. So, and the Enigmatic Fortress is over there, which is very nice. So, that world... Oh, and the EQ Monopolis is like, hey, do this. They got a bunch of jobs. Okay, how are we doing over here? 116 days for this to grow to get built grow it's not organic but you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying and then we'll put some star bases on it and these guys will be able to repair themselves and then we can send them off and here we go this is the synthoid matrix they have a fleet of 706 are they going to come at us are they going to brave their way over here or are they just gonna sit there at that uh, spot and wait for us Let's take a look at how they're doing. They're inferior now and their fleet power is still equivalent to ours, which means that the other people that they're at war with are not making any headway at destroying them. We would like to be that that people. <coughs> starbase. Q. Construction project. Okay, now that it's a starbase, I think if I just hit repair fleet, yet yeah, they stay right there. They don't do anything else. Okay, and these edicts came off again, the ones that cost us money, so we turn those back on. There's a migration treaty. Senate is now in session. Resolutions for the greater good. Form the Galactic Council, that's fine. The one I want is five-year plans which are proposed. Can we yet... We can't do anything with this, can we? Emergency measure. You cannot propose an emergency measure when the Senate's already in session. We gotta wait till the Senate's out of session. Okay, fine. We'll do that. Ooh, somebody's ahead of us on the Galactic Council now. The Larongo Shipping Alliance is now more powerful than us. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, are you guys fully repaired? You are. Okay. Why don't we move our way up here and go attack these guys? See if we can make a dent. Gamma laser and oh the neutron launchers, please. The battleship we need to unlock that, so so we can start building a few of those. Let's unlock that. Also, we have enough influence and alloys now. I think I'm going to take this disabled gateway and enable it. Let's get that working. Uthan says, hey, I still have unemployed pops. What do you have that's unemployed? Minor robots. Well, 
I have no jobs on this planet, so I can send them somewhere else. That would probably be the best thing to do. I don't need that last slot. Move them to the Ecumenopolis. Actually, let's move regular folk. There we go. We'll get our fleet over here and crush these guys there, and then we can probably send one fleet over here. Should be able to do this whole region. Hopefully, they won't get in trouble by themselves. I like that he's going to grab those gases. That'll be nice. We're making a lot of food, which is fantastic because then we can sell it. I always like that. We're making enough of these. We don't have to buy them anymore. That's cool. Pretty soon we won't have to sell our minerals because we're going to need them all for our Ecumenopolis. You guys ready? Everybody get over here to the edge and when you're all ready to move then we'll go fetch no mod no mods as I was saying though there are some really good mods for this game and you should definitely consider them for sure Yeah, I'm going to spend a crystal and upgrade that building. You guys ready? It'll tell you down here. Aggressive stance. They're not moving. Go over there. Let's swarm these guys. Thirteen K and seventeen K. Let's see about crushing them real quick. Swarmed that fleet over before you can blink. And we have crushed that little thing. So what I'm going to do is take the bigger of the fleets and tell it go here, here, here. <laughs> we'll do it that way and then go there. And what is this? This is, this is a wormhole. So what I want to do is get this guy up here to tell me where this wormhole goes. And in addition, I want to take this and turn it into a proper bastion. So I'm going to do gun batteries and I'm going to replace these. I'm going to turn it into a proper bastion that we can use to protect against uh, our enemies. So hyperlane register gives us collection range plus one out. And that's for, I think that affects trade. This affects shield hit points, communication damage, sublight speed, ship weapon range plus 50%. That's what I'd like to put there and then upgrade it. Let's do that. Go back here. We wanted this thing down here. City districts provide an additional one housing um, and an additional clerk job over here. So let's go for housing. That's a very nice thing to have. Oh yeah, baby. Yep, like this. This is looking good. Okay, we're going to take our current fleets of people, our current troops, these three guys. We're going to bring them over here and join them all together. Ruined matter decompressor, impossibly perched on the event horizon of Zulbax Maw as some kind of mining apparatus. Oh, where's Zulbax Maw? Right here? You're kidding me. Oh my gosh, we're going to get... A ruined matter decompressor early? Oh, man. No way. No way, and we can fix it. But we need mega engineering. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to uh, hang on to that system. <laughs> wow. I can't believe that. Jeez. That's lucky. Wow, that never happens for me. I never get something that cool that early. That's kind of mind-blowing. Matter decompressors uh, create minerals. When they're fully upgraded, they create a ton of minerals, like 2,000 a month. 
Uh, they're insane. They're awesome to have. They're a giant mega structure that's really, really great. It's going to tell me that I have a. Okay, so on this relic world. Now we need to get the gas things right here. So gas extraction wells different than exotic gas refineries. Exotic gas refineries are the ones that you can build, and they require 10 minerals and uh, for upkeep, and they require three energy for upkeep. These are the special ones that have to. You can only build when the planetary uh, features that allow it. And on this planet, we can build two of them, and these only have one energy credit for upgrade, no mineral deposits for upkeep. So, hello. We do that. Some of these other ones. This agro world over here. This also allows gas extraction wells on this planet. So, hello. We're going to build that. This is 15% bonus to food. We're going to build that. How are we doing? This guy's over here building this. Great. We're going to have him hang out. You guys are almost all joined together. That's super. Consumer goods. Gateway reactivated. Oh my goodness. The abandoned gateway in the Hixar system has suddenly been reactivated. Power must have been remotely restored somehow. Possibly from another gateway. It's formed a stable subspace conduit. Woohoo! Okay, let's hope that doesn't bite us in the butt. So, this gateway down here in the Hixar system turned on because of this gateway here. That's pretty cool. So we have Gateways Paradise Dome. That's something uh, I'm going to want. Heritage Site. Cryo Revitalization Center. I need to get some of these things off the board. So I'm going to get that off the board. Okay, over here. This guy's still joining. Hostile IFF signatures. Okay, what do we have? 3,000. Okay. 3,000 versus our 13,000. We should be okay. Damage. Oh, you guys ready? Go take them. Go take them out. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. They think they're going to come in there and take that from us. Oh. Research our battleships. We can now make battleships. Battleship hull hit points. Space torpedoes. Uh, I want the battleship hull hit points now, so I'm going to grab those. Yeah, they took that system. We're going to go back and take it back. Okay, over here, all you gentlemen, join together in one giant army. And now, we're going to send you through the friendly skies over here to Naf Gravas. This has armies of 56. They still don't have a lot of garrisons for their armies. So, In the meantime, since we're kind of going to wait on that, I'm going to send this guy to complete this wheel. And just tell him, hey, do that and make your way back over here. Okay, you guys, get these guys. Alright, so where does this wormhole go? It goes all the way down here into Lorongo shipping space. Oh, well, I bet the Lorongo are happy that we're in control of that now. Okay. Another Leviathan defeated by the Lorongo shipping alliance. That seems like a bug to me because I'm pretty sure I didn't turn that DLC on, but I could be wrong. Now, once you get big enough, you can put a research institute down on your research planets. It adds plus 15% bonus, just like... This adds plus 15% bonus to minerals, etc, etc, etc. So we're going to do that. We're going to build two more generator districts there. The EQ Monopolis is trucking along. I'm not, I want to build certain things on it. Are you kidding me? Go get these guys. Chase them. What's going on? Hey, no, 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 no. Go back. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Go get these turkeys. Get them. Chase them down. You can tell them and then redline it and then they'll just keep working and chase them down. Go get these guys. Research concluded. Oh, you think you're going to flee? Cryo Revitalization Center. That was really quick. Quickly done. I'm going to get the defensive fortress out of the way. Come get these guys. Come on. Crush them. Oh, yeah. 
There we go. And there's some research to do there. You guys go back here and recapture that. Neutron launchers. Oh, particle lance. We need that for our battleship. I'm going to turn this off. Very nice. This is all coming together over here. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm going to upgrade that for one moat. Yes, I got moats. So I'm going to upgrade that one. And over here, I need three more jobs here. That's a crystal. That's the thing you, you see. You can see we're down to two crystals. Rare crystals per month. So I'm going to upgrade this, but we got to start putting some more crystals down. The EQ Monopolis is a great place to do that. So I'm going to go over here and say synthetic crystal plants. Produce some more crystals for us. Okay, hold on. How big is this guy? 4,000. Go get him. We're going to need to choke point that. We're going to need to choke point that. Oh, he died. No, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. Well, hyper entertainment forums. Get those off there. There we go. Now we got now we got a sizable little chunk of war here going. We got their 5.4k against our 9.8k. Come on, go get these guys. What are you guys doing? Get over here. Don't let them run into our system. Get them. Get them. Don't let them escape. It takes a little bit of time to charge your boosters to go through the gate. Hopefully. There we go. And I want to see what their ships look like. If they're still... They're not using any shields. Wow, they're not using any shields. On the destroyers. And their corvettes are... They're using shields on their corvettes. Why does it say zero? Oh, because they're wiped out on that particular ship. So here's a good example. But they are using shields, and they're still using a lot of torpedoes. And on their cruisers... They're using a mix again. Shields and armor, shields and armor, and a bunch of torpedoes still. So yeah, we should be... Our particular fleet should be uh, pretty well designed to take that over. Okay. And we grab this planet. That's awesome. So you guys come up here. We're going to do something up here. What we're going to do once we take the system over is we're going to build a choke point there. So this planetary incursion was successful and we got this and um i'm gonna rename this because i don't like these names naf whatever and naf whatever naf whatever this the game uses those a lot so we're gonna be tiersonia and they're gonna purge all these people so we're gonna take this and we're gonna replace it with pre houses and we'll replace this with clone bats and we'll say you can be a generator world because that's what you're good at we'll replace this with a generator district it's going to purge all its people we're going to say immigrate we should have done that with the other ones we took out as well so we're going to go switch those right now we're going to go turn this on and say hey turn these planetary decisions on to f to add the immigration boost Research concluded. to these protus what happened here did we lose this planet somehow? How did we lose Protus? That's curious. I've never seen that happen before. Ocean World. Oh, all the people left. Okay, hold on. All the people got purged off of it before any, any of our people grew. Oh, okay. So Zimpok. I don't want that to happen here. Population. What do we have? It's about to grow one on there, but I want to move somebody on there. So Zimpok, resell somebody to Zimpok. I didn't know that would happen. I never even paid attention to that. Move somebody to Zimpok. Move a this person. Actually, what are they? Saladian. Okay, hold on. Maybe we don't want to move them. Um, Zimpok. Okay. We can't colonize this because we don't have anybody good to colonize it with, but what we can do is terraform it to a continental world. So over here at Tirsona, what is this? This is a savanna world. 
and Zimpok is a desert world. And the person we moved over here is what? This person. Habitability 20%. They are Sildean. 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 What do the Sildeans do? Oh, he needs a continental preference. Okay, we're going to move him then. We're going to resettle this person to a continental world. Nomad. That's where he's going to go. There's a Jagualan here. What are the Jagualans? Jagalawas. They're desert preference. Okay, great. So we got to find another desert preference, Jagalawas, to get to Tirsona, because this is a desert planet as well, right? It's Savannah. If we can find somebody who's Savannah, that would be great. Desert Preference, Desert Preference, that's the best we got. Or Savannah is Obadin, and we have 11 Obadins. What planets are they on? On two planets, on two planets in our empire. Okay, where are they at? Um, that's their homeworld, Obadin. We need to find them on one of our planets, though, which is going to be one of these. So we need to find an Obadin. We got to go through here and look. Obadan. There's an Obadan here on Mang 2. So we want to send them to Tirsona. Resettle to Tirsona. An Obadan right there. He's a researcher, which is kind of going to suck for him, but he'll get a job once he gets there because it's purging those people. That's funny. I've never seen that happen before where I lost a planet because it purged everybody before any of my people could grow on it. That's hilarious, though. It's awesome. Ecological Adaptation. Allows you to change a uh, species, home preference, planet preference, the planet type. Uh, ship, this is cheap, so I'm going to grab that. This over here. Yes, we're working on that. Okay, great. You guys are over here doing what? Aggressive stance. Go get that. Okay, and I, have, I need that science ship. So... Down here, oh, I didn't create that there yet. Okay, mm, think about that. Give me a science ship. Oh, there's no shipyard there. There's a shipyard here. Science ship. I'll take 45 days to get that one ready. Okay, and there's a big fleet coming through over here. You guys, don't go there. Go here. Oh, and we have all kinds of alloys. So here's the next thing that I want to do. I need to design some battleships. So the battleship is right here. It's an auto. Uh, do we have the... We don't have the main bow yet, so it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do then is take this fleet and say reinforce. That way we can use up some of our alloys. These guys are trucking on over here. We're going to send a fleet over here to do this. This... Starbase, why don't you give me one shipyard upgrade? Give me crew quarters. Move that up. And how are we doing against these guys? What's this look like? Their fleet power is now inferior to ours. So they've taken their lumps and now they're, they're not as good. Our guys here are a little damaged, and what I would like to do is get them repaired, or at least get them, yeah, I'd like to get them repaired. Where do they go if, they, if I repair them? They go right there. Okay, let's send, let's reinforce their fleet. That'll send ships to them to reinforce them. And I'd like you guys to go up here and crush these guys. So now it lets you know reinforcement fleets are in transit. <laughs> Alright, and this is, we were going to put research on this planet, so let's start doing that. Alright, these guys are fighting. I hope you don't have an epileptic seizure 
<laughs> That's one reason I hardly ever watch these. It's just a lot of flashing lights. And uh, there's... It's, you know, it's dice rolls behind the scenes. So I'm never too concerned with that aspect of it. I would like you to go do this, though. Go take those. We'll start taking their empire from these guys. That's what we like to do. This, right here, what we can build is a black hole observatory. Please do that. Okay. Timed project. Debris, you can hit, go in here and hit track all on map. Go to it. We know where it is. So what I want to do is get this ship over here. Where's my science ship? Right there. There's a science ship there, but I was building one. I was building one over here. Was Oh, it's right there. Yep, that's it. I need to assign it a leader. I can give it anomaly research speed. Anomaly research speed. Hmm. Okay. I don't know that you're going to run into any anomalies, but I want you to go up here and I want you to research that. And then this. So do that. Uthan says, hey, I still have to save a spot down here. But now we can start to upgrade these. These cost moats to do, but they increase our... Our command limit up here. Uh, habitability, yes. Let's just go get that habitability. Let's do that. I like it when that particle lance can get done, then I can build my first battleship. This, I said, consumer goods for it. Civilian industries, right there. That's why I like to plan these things out ahead of time, is my empire starts to get big. So I can go back here and I can just look at the name and know what this is supposed to be doing. It's like, oh, okay, it's supposed to be doing that thing. Oh, and that reminds me. So, what is he doing? He's down here. No mod. Come down here. I want you to build a habitat. I want you to build it right here, right there. Go do it. All right. Yeah, I need to start building habitats. First of all, that helps keep our alloys knocked down a little bit. That uh, makes use of them, so they're not just sitting there bumped up against the, the maximum amount doing nothing but also uh, I need the habitats for refineries that's the single biggest thing. refineries and fortresses are what I like to put on those and um, as always I, I always like to make sure I have a commercial zone on them too because they really help boost your trade if you have three or four habitats in a system like we're going to put nomad and they all have those they all have a commercial zone on it and so all their clerk jobs are fulfilled. The trade you start generating is just gigantic. All right, go get these guys. So this is Obadin, and these clowns are over here. Do you guys want to go get them? There's 1,300 there. Yeah, just go get them. Just go crush their fleets. This is 2,500. So go back in there and get those guys. Good job. Crush them. Like, we're going to spread out. I'm like, nope. Research concluded. So here are all the guys that were standing there. You can see they were st staying at picket length. Okay, here's food. This is cool. Food is maxed out. We can sell a bunch of that for a bunch of money. Oh, we're, we're cranking on the food. This is great. I love it. I like not having to worry about my life. <laughs> Look at this. It's the year 2330, and our resources are... Are all in the black um, and we only have a minimum amount we're buying alloys if you're all in the black and you're still buying alloys you're doing good uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop this here this has been fantastic it's been a good episode folks thanks for watching uh, newbies I hope you're as always getting a lot of you can see we're, we're spreading out this is our first war we're getting spread out which is good we're gonna acquire all this <laughs> the poor old are gonna be stuck in the middle here but we're going to keep going hard at these guys. In fact, I'm going to go right to the end of this turn. Say, hey. Oh, they went back and they got it for me. So now this is mine. Um, I think I almost want to build a space station there. Uh, just so that they have some place to, to hang tough. But it, it might be better just to be more aggressive. So, And the particle lance is done. So next episode we can build battleships. Which would be really cool. So that's where we're at. This is this is a good place to be. I'm happy with it. 
Uh, the only thing that's really in the negative right now is our naval capacity, and we'll get there. That'll get better. We got our first habitat being built. We have our first gateways ready to go, and we lucked out. And over here, we have a matter decompressor that when we get the technology, when we get mega engineering, we'll be able to get that up and running. Uh, to do the mega structures is about a four stage process. You repair it a little ways, and it starts producing a little bit of minerals for you. The matter decompressor does, and then after about, I think, four complete repair jobs, then it's, it's totally complete, and it'll crank out 2,000 minerals every month. It's just a monstrosity. It's awesome. You get that, you get a Dyson Sphere that does the same thing for energy, and then you start building ring worlds, and that's where all your flood of population can then automatically go to. Um, we're... We're in good shape. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I hope you dug it. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the channel, subscribe. And if you have a uh, an inkling to support my channel, my Patreon is listed down below. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.